name is Jessica Musa, and I am the chairman of Swedish Young Catholics, and I am from Sweden. How the young people are preparing to work this in, in Sweden? Yes, right now I am the head of the planning team, which is coming to uh, Krakow, and we are hoping for, to register 500 people for the trip here. And we haven't even opened the registrations yet, but the people are telling us that they are very interested in coming. I think they can't wait until the summer gets here. They're ready for it. How is the person of people in Sweden who are Catholic who are going to the church? In Sweden, it is very hard to be a Catholic because uh, you are surrounded by other people who are non-believers and they keep questioning you about your belief, about your God, does he even exist, they tell you, and they tell you you're stupid and you should trust science. And it's very hard. What we do in our association is to try to gather the Catholics and give them a place to, you know, just open up and talk about their religion and their beliefs. And I have grown so much since I found this association. And one thing is the World Youth Day that has helped me a lot because it was the first time I felt like I'm not the only one. I'm not the only Catholic in the world. That you feel it every day in Sweden. And how is your experience uh, with World Youth Days? Have you ever been there? Yes, I went to the one in Madrid, not the one in Rio, which I regret a lot. I really wanted to go, but I had work, summer mm -hmm. work. But in Madrid, I had a great time. Uh, ex uh, met a lot of new friends, met Jesus, and actually didn't feel alone, which encouraged me and brought me back home with more energy. And I started working with the youth. Before that, I was only a member, and now I am the head of the association. You said that in your country it's a hard uh, yes. the faith, but uh, do you know some person who are come back to, 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 to church and uh, start believing to the God? Actually, yes, I know a few that actually after the World Youth Day came home and regained their faith. Many of us who are Catholics in Sweden are born from Catholic families. And, uh, you know, when you're born into a Catholic family, you don't think of things uh, like uh, people who convert into Catholicism. When you start thinking, sometimes many of us stop believing because they try to find proof that everything exists. And when you come to the World Youth Day, something changes within you. And we had this guy who actually came to the World Youth Day and not only regained his faith, he found his love. And now he's married and has a child. Oh. Yeah. What is the divine mercy for you? Divine mercy uh, is the knowing that your God is so merciful that no matter what you do, as long as you deeply regret it, He is there with open arms and letting you back in. Because there are many different topics that uh, people thought that this World Youth Day would be about, but Poland chose mercy. And uh, how many people will come to our We will be 500 from Sweden, which is a large group for us. We are only less than 1% of the population and in the whole Sweden we are 100,000 Catholics. In my our association we are about 2,500 so bringing 500 here is a lot for us. Yes, but maybe more people will come so now Hopefully. please invite the, the young people to the World Youth Days to Krakow. I would like all the young people to come with us to the World Youth Day in Krakow next year and please all the Swedish people if you hear me come with us we will have a great trip.